a uh, course in certified rat tickling. Now, we have a guy, a uh, listener, who calls uh, a lot named Rat. I don't know if he has any kind of course uh, in tickling him, but you'd want to direct a, a question like that directly to him. I can't uh, be an intermediary for anything like that. So the course materials are online. I don't know. I don't know how you'd get a gig after this. It seems like something where you apply for it, but they've already promoted from within. Oh, we've already got nepotism. We've already got our junior, our assistant rat tickler has been uh, pumped up. Did your girlfriend get her clothes? By the way, yeah. Where'd she end up going? Uh, I think she just found them. Pardon ah! me. No, she, <laughs> she found On her clothes. I, I think yeah. she got them from Target or Kohl's. All right. Well, there you it was go. A nice outfit. Uh-huh. Good interview. Pencil skirt. Waiting to see what. No, no. Oh. It was a uh, slacks. White, white blouse. Yep. White slacks. Yep. And an orange blazer. White blouse and white slacks. Mm-hmm. That's a flex. Yeah. Wow. She joining the Bee Gees. Mm-hmm. What's the? <laughs> I thought maybe she'd go for black slacks. That way, if you spill anything. She, she was or feeling he, bold. She wow. Went white, white slacks. Good for her. She's taking a bull by the horns. You never going to see Mary Santora in white slacks. That is 100% accurate. I wear almost no white clothing. Because your butt. Yes, my butt leaks. All the, all the oh, mud, God. All the mud pies. Oh, no. Yeah, your just, butt leaks. It's been a problem since I was a little girl. And, and you've never had it attended to or anything? I've tried. They haven't. Invented a, a um, material strong enough to sew it shut. So you just need something to sop. Well, that's you need why a sop, not a sew. You don't have anything sewn up. Well, what I'm saying is that there, there have been procedures in the past where we've tried to mitigate the situation, but uh, technology has not advanced far enough to stop my anus from leaking. You know, you're. <laughs> Are you eating old bag of Alestra <laughs> chips or what's going on? It might be. Who yeah. Knows? Okay. A lot of bugles. Man, bugles are good. They're so good. I had bugles a, are good, and my, I don't usually like anything that tastes like that. But bugles are so good. On my drive home from New York last week or two weeks ago, I stopped at a uh, just like a uh, truck stop, and they had bugles, and I was like, "Oh my god, I haven't had these in forever." Especially now, everybody seems to have taken their cues from Oreo. There's all these products that for 100 years had one flavor. And then these companies got wise and they go, why don't we just take all the runoff from these other things we make? Because all these massive corporations make a billion different kinds of food, Unilever and whatever. They go, listen, we don't want to waste anything. Let's just throw this into a thing. And now we got a new flavor. So cookies and cream Oreos, which is just crushed up pieces of Oreos. They're stuffing Oreos with other Oreos. And Bugles too. Mm -hmm. Bugles had one flavor. For a hundred years, and now they have ranch and caramel and churro, and no complaints, mind you. But sounds like it's pretty complaint. wild. I tried. No, the- no, no. I uh, you get a bag of those like um, caramel. That now, you know, you'll get diabetes eating a whole bag. But I mean, it mm. tastes delicious. Worth it. Sometimes it's worth the diabetes. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> sometimes worth the diarrhea. Sometimes worth the diabetes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried the the Doritos tangy ketchup flavor last oh, week. Why? You're the ketchup person. I like ketchup the person. We've been over this. Well, they were actually pretty decent. I don't care I like for ketchup tangy. chips, but I did get a little bag of the hot mustard. Oh, how are those? Those are dynamite. I didn't have those at the store. That's what I wanted. So I just settled for the ketchup chips. I was in Walgreens good. getting something, and I walked by, and I hadn't. Because that's another one, like Oreos, Doritos. All of a sudden, and Doritos, listen, there's already a lot of flavors of those. But over the past year or so, they're really putting the pedal to the metal. So they have ketchup, which is a huge chip flavor everywhere else in the world, just not here. Um, so they're getting the, uh, I don't know, going for the international audience. Who knows? You go to Canada, it's all ketchup chips. The hot mustard, it, it took them until now to do a barbecue chip. So Doritos barbecue flavor are out there now. Uh, but uh, ketchup, mm. I don't know how I But you give them the that. thumbs up. But I'm telling you what, the hot mustard... Don't sleep on it. It's pretty good. Doritos barbecue is off-putting to me. How so? Because there's so many barbecue chips you could get if you want barbecue flavor. Why Doritos? Because I'd never had them before, and I I'm not saying see what... you specifically. Oh. I'm saying why make them? 
Doritos, that, that was their whole thing. Was Why are like, there 4,000 places doing hamburgers? Each one of them think they got a new twist on it. I guess. Yeah. That's what I think. Diabetes. What? Yeah! yeah! What? 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 What you got? Mm-hmm. God. Nacho cheese bugles, somebody said. All right, let me play this. Even though I hate the band, I'll play it for Bill Squire's girlfriend, Cake. Socks called short skirt, long jacket on the buzzer. That's all you get. Um, <laughs> he really was feeling really that? Really excited? Was really feeling that? Yep, just... that's right. Ripped it out from under you. Huh? Yep, Bill. Uh, if you're watching the live stream today, lost his comb in a house fire. I told him he needs, you need a haircut. <laughs> you need a haircut, bro. No, I'm he doesn't it. need a haircut. Yes, no one needs a haircut. You sound like my dad. I'm what are you, a dad. square man? I'm yeah. your dad. No, you I won't. just like short Stop hair. Stop putting your. Then, that's you, man. Then Stop then putting your body shaming theories. on us. Listen, he he becomes a hot dog flat earther, and now all of a sudden he lost the comb. Come on, trim yourself up. Nope. Cut your hair. Uh-uh. Take this life seriously. Cut I'd, your I'd, hair. You look homeless. I look like the way I want to look, which is better to feel good than look good. good. I'm proving that today. It's better to look good than to feel Not good. Not according right. to old silly squire over here. I know, here. but still, it's silly what Billy's having a good time. <laughs> silly Billy, <laughs> having a good time. And it's scary. You can jam, huh? Darling, don't you go away. <laughs> Cut your hair. Do you think it's gonna make him change? I'm just a boy with a new haircut, and it's a pretty nice haircut. Don't tell him. You be a hair farmer if you want, Billy. Let's not let's not get too carried away with this Billy stuff. Since the <laughs> sorry triggered. <laughs> Since the day I sold out and started cutting my hair off. Been a non-stop parade of compliments. I usually just I'm telling you, bring it back want it. like this. But today I You want the Pablo Escobar. Well, kind today of I didn't put any product in it yeah. to hold it back. So it's just kinda and then you and then you play the Queens product. of the Stone Age and some other rocking songs. And you've got to bang your and head. You bang your head and get it all wild. Metal health will drive get you. Get it in. wild. Alan, how about Doritos pudding flavor? No. Well, you'll be putting them into your mouth. I know that for sure. Hey. No one asked for that. No one asked for any of these. No one asked for salad and pizza. Everyone asked for salad and pizza. No, they don't. All of them. And here we are. Because processed foods are placed in front of you, and then you go, ooh, I'll try that. I've never thought about that because the combinations are usually positively demented. And then they go, ooh, what if I put this in that? What if I put this mustard chip into French onion dip? I'm told it's heaven. So Doritos has ketchup, mustard, and pickle flavors. Do you know what they're trying to do before the 4th of July? But um, somebody else texts that nacho cheese buggles are real good. I assume you mean do bugles, (laughs) but... um, Buggles, give me some buggles. <laughs> Video get, killed the radio that's star. What you get in, the, in Canada, so mm-hmm. buggles. But uh, yeah, and plus, you know, when you're a little kid and you're eating bugles, you Put make them, on them your fingers. you make them into witch fingers, yeah. and that's you know, I think bugles uh, had um, one of the greatest taglines of all time for their product, which was, "Other chips have no point." Ah. But a lot of them do. Just because they're not cones. Some, some of them do. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I misread that. Other chips have no cone. Other chips mm. are not conical. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, Paul in Ann Arbor says, I cut about six inches off my beard yesterday, and nobody at work has even acknowledged it. You don't need, talk about things you don't need. You don't need a beard longer than six inches. Stop. Well, he did stop. He cut it off. Well, right, but he had six inches to cut off. Uh, n- nobody cares if you brew your own beer. D- <laughs> <laughs> All these beard brewers out there. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, congratulations. Nobody at work has acknowledged it. Yeah, because they're not going to. What are they going to say? Nice beard cut. Hey, you got your beard cut? Oh, be- so let's be honest. You work from home, so why would they? How so? If he's, um, the joke is that. He works from home, remote, and he doesn't see anybody. That's the joke. 
That's the joke. Oh, the gotcha. <laughs> Nobody at work has acknowledged mm-hmm. it because he's online. Gotcha. Yeah, he's, he's getting so. his uh, rat tickling certification, and there's no one there. Um, yeah, but there's that's a lose lose because you go, well, nobody said anything. But if somebody said something, what's your response? Hey, get a haircut? Yeah. yeah End of the conversation. Trim, yeah. <laughs> hey, did you get a beard trim? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Trim's up. Trimmed up. Because they either have to go, it looks nice. And these days, it's not even worth it. It is worth it. One of our sales girls had really long, brunette, uh, had really long hair, comes in one week, gotten a cut, like shoulder length. Looks great. I'd never tell her. Why? Because you don't know what people are going to, I don't, hey, your hair looks great. Yeah, that's just a nice thing to say to somebody. Hey, it used to be. Dude. And they were like, he's like, oh, he was looking at my legs. No, too. No. You get a, now you no get an email from HR. No one's me chewing you for saying no, nice nah. hair. No, Nobody thought do so up until a couple of no years way. ago. That's the thing, Mary. It You're does happen. nice haircut? Yes, because they're no. like, oh. Better he, to not say anything. He said my hair, but I know he was thinking he was looking at my breasts. I wore no. a little oh shirt my that God. day. I know her enough to know that that wouldn't happen. But don't get it. Don't make it a habit. That's right, dude. Yep. Last week or I two agree. weeks ago, I cut seven inches off my hair. This is the shortest my hair has ever been, and I got it highlighted. So I was like, "This is a <laughs> visible difference." So Mary, I could say this to you. I'm like, "How much did you get cut off of your hair?" And you say seven inches. I'm like, "Oh, you know what else is seven inches?" But that's <laughs> not how the conversation would go. What I'm saying is, when I walked through here, did I make a big deal about it on Instagram before I came in? Yes. So maybe that's a clue for people. But a lot of people were like, oh, your hair looks so great. It's so short. And I was like, thank you. Thank-. Like, that's what I wanted. I wanted right. people you to been, notice. You would have been mad if people hadn't said anything. Correct. Right. So I can't imagine somebody if well, you're like, a, oh, my well, God, you got, you got seven inches cut off. That's a dramatic haircut. But why? Because you why look you different. Ca- so what? So notice me. I look oh different God. today, and all you did was say that I look terrible. I didn't say you look terrible. You said I look homeless. I said that doesn't mean terrible. Mm-hmm. Plenty of homeless attractive people. Mm-hmm. All I said was you lost your comb in a house fire. That wasn't a, <laughs> that wasn't an insult. I thought that maybe your no, ninth floor condo. Is, had I use Mary's comb. <laughs> Shut up. I still have that comb. Let me, see, let me show oh everybody that stupid the one, comb. The one with two teeth in yeah. it. Well, so yeah. I have I have certain items that I keep in my travel bags because because it keep, reminds her of home in Berea. I keep losing them. This is so embarrassing. I pulled this out the one day, and Bill was like, "What is that?" Yep. <laughs> so cool. That's called the Berean smile. Do you yeah. see it? <laughs> because <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> this comb has been in my backpack for I don't know how long, me, but it's the one. It. This is the one that I keep in my backpack. Listen, you guys have but to. But why? Because I won't lose it. <laughs> but combs are like to go to oh next door to CVS are like a dollar. And here's the thing: thirty. I for- keep this. Yeah. I keep it because I'm like I'm gonna end up losing it at some point, and I haven't lost it yet because now it just has a big grip on it. Now I can just hold it like that. Uh, Listen, if you guys want to help me buy a new get- comb, you yes. can just order my album. Nothing matters. Um, you can get a signed and numbered copy right now at Bandcamp.com. Back Could they? They just send you a new comb? No, you should order the album. But here, oh. Bill, go ahead and try to use my right, comb. I'm not homeless. I'm combless. <laughs> <laughs> See how it works? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'd look like, though, if I didn't put product in my hair. It is a good comb. See? It works just fine. Yeah, it works, but why not just replace it? Well, that's the one that stays in my travel backpack, okay? So that's just the one that gets sloshed around at the airport and stuff. I have a good comb that I keep in my purse, which Bill's not going to show Honey, where's one. my good comb? I do. I have a good comb. Good all the comb. teeth uh-huh. all the teeth are intact in the good comb. This is the one that stays in my purse that I have on with me at all times. So huh. I have two combs, but that one's just real bad. Well, look at this transformation. Look at that. See? <laughs> a toothless comb can do wonders. A toothless Ta-da. comb. Much better. I don't have any hair No! Products. No! <laughs> I will not be told how to look. That's a face of a man See? who's uh, come to enjoy ketchup Doritos. When my, hair, when my hair is too brushed or too combed or like... Too polished. It doesn't look right. Like your it, hair's not long either, and it's th- kinky. It, it well, it can't. It's not. Yeah, it is. It's kinky. Yeah. <laughs> like when when I brush it all the way down, like it goes to like my eye eyebrow. Really? It's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty long. Huh. Um, well, that is a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Justin, that's so big unfair. forehead or receding hairline? Which one? It's a little of both. <laughs> column A, column B. A little of both. Oh boy.
All right, listen. Mary's got it. Yeah, buy her album so she can get a new comb. Mm-hmm. And other items. Yeah. <laughs> She's not gonna... Don't buy it because it's awesome. <laughs> buy it so she can buy things. Buy it so you can help me uh, personally because, you know, whatever. I need it. So what happens when the good comb dies? Then I'll buy a new one. Oh, boy. That's I just bought. I actually did this, just buy a three pack of combs. This off side piece comb here, you're just letting it get dilapidated. I do need to and, take it out of my bag. Oh, you're beating the hell out of that. I just ordered um, three new combs, the kind that the stylists use that have the long, thin, metal, pointy end. Yeah. Because um, when Brian's daughter comes over, she likes it when I do her hair. So, like to have those nice even parts, I ordered a special comb for that. So I have three of those. But I actually don't know if you could probably take that through TSA. It's like a long, pointy piece of metal. Could that be seen as a weapon? Don't know. I mean, anything could be seen as a weapon if you're committed enough to it. I don't know. But yeah, that's but that my, combs beat. It's my travel comb. <laughs> you're like the Ike Turner of combs over there. Oh, yeah. too soon. I got to take a break. Hey, uh, if you want to send a text, 35192 to do that. You can watch live if you like at alancoxshow.com, and you can listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Buzzard Radio. The Buzzard. He's Rover. Listen to old Rover. He knows what he's talking about. This is my last resort. And Alan Cox. Um, we love you. But we don't care about you that much. You're up from home of the Guardians. What a ball game! 100.7. WMMS. From the Mr. Hero Taste You Crave Weather Center. WMMS Weather. Tonight, mostly clear, down between 40 and 45. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, high only 60. And on Friday, sunny with a high around 70. This report is sponsored by Medical Mutual. Medical Mutual offers high-quality health insurance plans plus dental, vision, and wellness plans to help you achieve your best health. Learn more about individual Medicare and employer plans at medmutual.com slash everything. Medical Mutual, the official health insurer 